Hey friends, welcome to another unboxing video. This is another double box, so it's a box that we threw books into, so it basically filled to the brim. It's super heavy. Uh, because of that, it's not a total surprise because I can see some of the stuff off the top. But anyway, great stuff so far. We'll uh, get right into it. So definitely got a mixture of L5R and some other items in here. Uh, one of the early Imperial Heralds. This is number 17. The Hellfire 2nd Edition Bells of the Dead. I think that's 2nd Edition. I think it's 1st. We've got some of the clan books here. Or those are the Way books. This is the Way of the uh, Shinsei. And we have the 2nd Edition... Player's Guide, hardcover. Oh, well, I wasn't expecting that. So that's kind of cool. When was this from? Wow. The Necronomicon. This is from 1979. And uh, was made by... It's a book of spells. It's got Errol Otis artwork on the back. I, I don't remember if I've had one of these. Fantasy Art Enterprises. Uh, Errol Otis, Matthias Geis Genzer, Paul Richie III, with uh, two other, a couple other people. Um, I don't know if I've ever had one of these, but I, I know of it. So that's, that's a surprise. I don't remember that being in there. Then we've got uh, Ninja Burger, a much more recent item. And then, uh, huh. All right, this is a new one on me. Not a, not a dig robber headquarters. A referee's guide for fantasy role-playing games. 1981, second edition. It's a Thieves and Assassin Guild. All right, so, so those of you looking for oddities, that's an oddity. I don't think I've ever heard of this one. John Scott Clegg Company. <coughs> Excuse me. Dragon Magazine number 60. I think it's missing the game. Yeah, missing the game, unfortunately. Okay, for L5R 3rd edition, this is the uh, Four Winds source book. I don't think I have a lot of the 3rd edition stuff in stock. Void in the Heavens module. Honors Veil. I don't think I've ever had this one in. That's a module. Way of the Wolf. Lesser of Two Evils. And a bunch of Imperial Heralds, which I'm just going to set aside. They give me free envelopes. Get those out of the way. They're odd sizes, so they can work occasionally. All right, now we got some Indiana Jones stuff. So we've got Raiders of the Lost Ark. I used to have a bunch of those, but do not have any more. Temple of Doom. Magic and Mysticism in the Dark Continent. It's an Africa source book. Uh, Indiana Jones Adventures. Indiana Jones and the Sky Pirates. That's got some, unfortunately, got some cover damage to it. Indiana Jones Artifacts. So some of these books I have never had in before. And a more recent item, this is the Jeremiah role-playing game. Uh, this is by Mongoose, and it was based on a sci-fi series. I don't remember which station it was in, but the neat thing was it was one of the 90210 guys was the lead in this uh, post-apocalyptic game. Kind of cool. Wow, this is all over the place. So we got our Marauder 2107, and that was by Maelstrom Hobby. And then the MAR 13M source book for that. Had those before. 
uh, Maelstrom Hobby Breeder Compendium. Uh, that goes with those other two books. We've got L5R's second edition, The Jam's Guide. I don't think I have either of those right now, so that's kind of cool. L5R first edition hardcover. Nice shape. That I think I have. That's the third edition hardcover. Got a corner ding to the bottom corner there. A couple of D20 books uh, from Monkey God. Nothing great there. We do have a Slayer's Guide to Amazons, a Slayer's Guide to Trolls, D20 by Mongoose. And then it looks like we're getting into Dragon Magazines here. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know that I'm going to just pull all these out. Let me see if there's anything else in here. They seem to run in the 70s to... There's a bunch in the 70s and 80s, which is good. I just sold a whole bunch of those, and I'm out of them. Um, yeah, some of these are not in the greatest of shape. Uh, huh, 72. I know I need that. 71. I need that. 70. That one's really worn. And we got some different world magazines. So this little magazine box at the bottom here. Oh, wow, there's a whole stack of them. So 20, uh, 12, looks like two copies of 12, 13, 7. Uh, some of these are getting old, so let's take a look at some of these. So different worlds, number 7. There's number 10. This is one of the supplements that goes in those. Two copies of number 10. 24, 25, 35, 19. So we're getting into a little more recent stuff. Uh, 27. It's at the bottom here. Ooh, wow. All right. Issue 4. Issue 3. Another issue seven, issue six, issue number eight. That's kind of a cool cover there. So, and then a lot more uh, later issues. Dragons, there's nothing really old here besides this, there's some in the 60s and 70s. that's going to do it. There's a 57. Uh, 50. Let's see if that's got the module in it. I think it does. So that one's a good one. I don't have any of the, I don't have either of those. 64. It does have the game, but the spine's been taped. Mm, it's like I said, 72 earlier. 65. some 70s and later issues all right so i think that's gonna do us um pretty good pile of stuff we got uh some dragons that actually are moving pretty well these days so i'm not upset to get these they look to be in better shape than some of the ones that have been coming in earlier in the collection and um some nice l5r some indiana jones different worlds magazine good stuff thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you on the next one.